So yeah, let's show this part off. Let's show what's going on with the Glock. You can hear it on the left. What's going on with the bassoon? On the left and with the bass. So that's on the on the right and then they'll all together <laughs> ladies and gentlemen this is a recap of composing in multiple dimensions part 69 bouncing around in today's episode we re-entered we feel that we are approaching completion of this series and moving on to the next we edited our score further, and we made the bass and bassoon very much into a complementary duet. We made them complement each other in their phrasing, uh, when they are doing long melodic things like you just heard. Da, 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 da. They complement each other, and then when they're doing a kind of abbreviated counterpoint here, like this... So they are a complementary duet. Then we also edited our glockenspiel and cadences, which are the trichords over here, so that they're, they have complementary um, dynamics. And we made, the, made them louder when they're playing minor major scales, and we made them softer when they're playing the full scale so they emphasize each other and then finally the arpeggiation backbone and polyphone which are the triplets here with periodic reinforcement and even more intermittent reinforcement here uh, are like a solo piano well a piano trio and we soloed those respective parts and listened to them and, and did all the fine tuning so we did all that. So what we ended up doing is made an, an uh, updated recording of the score, this score. Then we uh, went into our Reaper program, which you just heard a minute ago. And then we set the Glock 60% left, the bassoon 40% left, and the contrabass 40% right as a on top to the overall recording. And that gave us some spatial. And then having recorded that, we went into our musical visualizer and we are using the spatial sound down here you can see that the spatial version right there and then we made a new recording of this the other thing we did here is we animated these two interleaving um see there's two wheels there's a blue wheel that's on the bottom and there is a purple wheel that's on top and so this time we set them so that the top and the bottom are actually playing the bassoon and the contrabass. And so that's kind of cool. And when they're quiet, you just see the, the, uh, the breathing cycles on top of each other. So we made an updated recording of that. Then we finally updated our MIDI animation machine version. Now granted the MIDI animation machine's sound is tinny, but we can easily fix that by doing a composite video, which is one of our ideas for next time. And that would be ideas next time or here. We want to share today's updated work, which are the animations. I make a composite video with the MIDI combined with the spatial oral sound. Uh, we're also thinking about some way of adding captions. We also brainstormed ideas for our next series. Um, how do we include words that complement sound and vision rather than distract from it? And we saw an example of it. We, we went to Singapore in 3D, 3D 
platform and then we watched a video where they used that to tell a story and a guy recited a poem with music in the background and then shifting images from the 3D platform. Uh, how do we musically animate objects in the 3D platform? We went back to the scripts we had done in a previous stream and then we found an aquarium where fish were kind of visually moving around on the 3D platform. And then how do we perform live? Is there a way to perform live here? So some of our ideas for the next series to make uh, make that fish thing. And we notice that every time we go back to the region, all the balloons that are supposed to be floating around are flat on the ground. You have to restart the scripts. So there must be some way to restart a script when the region it's in restarts. So anyway, what we're going to do is uh, finish with... Um, We'll finish with the score and play the whole piece for you and that should bring us home and this is with the tuned dynamics and parts that accompany each other and we will turn off the mic for this part so here we go So that concludes today's stream. Shout outs to Miss Cleo, Divian, and Gabrielle. Thanks for stopping by. Tune in next time to see what happens next. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming. <laughs>